Hello, hello, and good morning, guys and girls. And today, we're going to play, or you're going to watch me play, Sega Spider-Man The Video Game, the arcade. This game was released back in September 1991. This game consists as a one-player game, or it could be simultaneously up to four players. I remember when this game was released. This game was released at a time when I was younger, back when I used to play with my brothers and we would uh, roller skate, but we never roller skated. Usually, we would see outside the walls there other arcade machines, and sure enough, there it was, Spider-Man, the arcade video game. What makes this game unique and amazing? Lots of things. It's not just because it's Marvel and it has our favorite daunted characters, such as Hawkeye, Spider-Man, Black Cat, and lastly, Submariner, Namar. And with that being said, this game has some unique style to it. It actually looks like a comic book in the style making. And I think Sega, the development team, went with an interesting approach with this game. And this game, as well, has countless of other villains for you to go through fighting in this arcade game. Um, later on, it did make a release in Sega System 32 hardware, but that was much, much later. Now, without further ado, Let's kick some butt, Marvel style. Okay, so in this game, you get a choice to pick between Hawkeye, Spider-Man, and of course Black Cat, and lastly I said before, Submariner, Namar. We're gonna pick Spider-Man Spider Spider for this, because well, it's Spider-Man. Huh. Right. Spider-Sense tingling. So in this game, the mission is, Let's go, we're going to find out, or the game is about, Spider-Man finding out what's going on and who's causing problems. We find out right off the rip that the Scorpion causing a scene in the streets. We can't have that. So with Spider-Man, we're going to kick some major butt. So now let's get on with this. What makes this game great thus far? Dude, the hint junction is beautiful. It plays so well. It's not stiff. It's smooth. Sega, I love you. You did a massive good job with this game back in the early 90s. This game was amazing. So, the game, like I said, the hint junction is smooth. It's snap. It's right on the dollar. It is amazing. Great game. Um, far as that goes, the hint junctions, like I just said before, it's it has a quick snap to it, and that's what will make you draw in playing this game right away, like instantly. You can tell when a game feels sluggish and terrible if it's stiff and it and it, and it makes you not want to play it. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. But with this game, no, not at all. You will not feel that at all. No. No. So we beat the stuff out of Scorpion, and now we're going to fight Venom. And I uh, actually like how they did Venom in this game. Venom is actually interesting. Um, you know, he's big, bulky. He has a jump attack that can just cancel out of your moves. If... Um, you don't know what you're doing and it does massive damage so I think that was pretty cool the way they set up Venom in this game Venom was pretty interesting and uh, after you beat him um, he gets awfully huge which I thought was pretty cool too with this amulet which we will soon find out later on Venom. what the freak that Stop. is Anywho, now they have a new different type mechanic as well. You you shrink into a wider screen, which I thought was pretty cool. Where so the game goes from beat 'em up 
to platform shooter instantly and i was like wow this 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 game has a lot of surprises so yeah this game man seriously is amazing it really really is and it has so much surprises so as we go forward, speeding through, killing Venom, we or defeating Venom, I mean Venom, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> sorry, defeating Venom, we get on a plane, we get off the plane, and then we're back into our beat em up phase with the Spider-Man. Of course, we fight Venom again, much harder, much stronger, of course. Spider-Man gets the business real bad, which is not good in his favor, but we were able to beat it, now we're in scene two. Now we know that Kingpin is involved in all of this stuff, and what is his connection towards any of this? Oh, and all of a sudden, we got the Green Goblin. This is interesting. Now, to put my borrowed tricks to good use. All of this part, we get to fight the Green Goblin. Well... The lizard first. Sorry. The lizard. And we switch up and use Black Cat because uh, you know what's Black funny? Spider-Man. These frame animations, man, are amazing. Like I am very impressed with with the frames. And me being an animator myself, it's just like, dude, these frames are awesome. You know what's funny? Like I, I said it in old videos before. See, they used the right necessary frames to get out what was necessary for their attacks and certain bow animations. And I think that's pretty awesome. You know, like some people have to understand, you don't need too many frames to make a necessary frame animation and, you know, making a game. Um or any type of project, you know, you just need just the right data and the right frame per second to uh, execute what you're trying to execute. And Sega at this time with this Marvel game, they did an amazing job with that. So anywho, we speed through and then we're fighting Electro and Electro is giving us a run for our money. And uh, yeah. He's not playing games. You've seen that flash before. Well, what? Hawkeye, our boy Clint. Hawkeye. So he's doing well with his trick shots, you know, and uh, we were able to beat Electro with Hawkeye. I actually like Hawkeye. Hawkeye in this game. Um, he's pretty interesting. Um, he has great, um, accurate shots, of course. Uh. Just like any other typical character in a beat 'em up, um, he was very nice to play with, uh, especially during the beat 'em up phase, when fighting other uh, goons and villains and stuff like that and whatnot. And he was very interesting to play with, like truly. Like I actually enjoyed playing with him. Um, then we end up fighting Green Goblin. We beat the Green Goblin with this annoying you know, abilities with Lamar, um, and then we Spider-Man and beat him, and Spider-Man, I thought I area, and we're fighting his goons, uh, well, I don't even want to say this is his goons, I want to say this is more somebody else's goons, if you know what I mean, so after Spider-Man, our boy Peter, Peter Parker <laughs> puts in the work, you know what I mean? Like, you know, beating them up real smooth. And I'm gonna say something else I like about this too. I like the, they use the um, comic book effect when you punch him. Uh, I, I love that, I love that a lot. I think that is so cool. So now we fight Scorpion again in his Kryptonic stage where he's just stronger. Which he still didn't stand a chance with Spider Man. I mean, come on, it's Peter Parker. Come on. It's Peter Parker. You be Peter Parker? Come on. Nah. So, after we get done beating him, we're in the next area where the stage is ridiculous, and then we end up fighting Dr. Octopus, which was a ridiculous boss fight I have ever 
face. And I'm gonna tell you a reason why. His arms do so much damage that it actually uh, staggers Spider-Man a lot. So in this stage, you got to just abuse your projectiles with your uh, spider web. Because if you don't, and if you like step away from them like I did, you're gonna get like just butchered and getting your body canceled into idle frames non-stop while being in hit damage animation for the longest. So don't do that. Just stay at them, spew them with spider webs, and call it a day. So we passed that area, and now we finally get into the room with Kingpin, and uh, we fight all his goons. We break through his uh, giant glass window. We get our butt beat by Spider-Man, so we switch to Black Cat real quick. And then Black Cat is uh, is trying to put in the work, but then you know Sandman is no joke. You know Sandman, man, he put you to sleep. You know, it's just, just that simple, literally. So Sandman gave me the beats. Look, look at him pumping his chest after that fight. I'm like, man, you know, I said, hold on, man, let me get Submariner, because I'm like, right now, you, you know, you tripping. And then again, I'm looking like, wow, okay, that didn't work good either. Because now Submariner's getting the business slightly, slightly, until I started using his, um, his ability is called, it's a hydro electric blast. So I end up using that ability a lot on him too, just so I can put him in his tracks. And then when he got back up, I was like, all right, come on, get back up. I can hit you in this blast again. So I can hit you with this hydro, this hydroelectric blast. One more time. But then again, I ended up, I ended up jabbing him, so I just said, whatever. Then we end up getting into the platform um, style again. I actually like, like how Namar um, works in this in this platform like style where he just shoots his hydro electric blast like it is really really awesome i like how he does that i don't know he's he ended up starting to be one of my favorite pick -em ups in this um platform game like i'm not even joking like to be fair they're all decent but i like namar and i like spider-man and black cat so if it came to like first second or third I would say Namar is first, Spider-Man second, Black Cat is third, and Hawkeye is fourth. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Hawkeye at all. So um, Hawkeye is out. I'm sorry for people who like Clint. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I want to say that at best, you know, Clint is just not my favorite uh, Avenger. He just not like. I mean, I'm not just I'm saying. Oh, I mean, come on, man. All you do is shoot arrows. Well, let me explain. He's actually nice the way he uses his arrows. He uses arrows in a way where it's very unique that even he'll give Robin Hood a run for his money. But anywho, back to the game. So now we're fighting Hobgoblin. And Hobgoblin Hawkeye. is just just is just cheating away with his freaking pumpkin bombs, which I can't stand. So we end up destroying everything and then we switch to Hawkeye. And we just end his end his career real quick with the quickness. And now Hawkeye gets his booty beat by Kingpin real fast in his minions. Because one, Kingpin got this dumb tackle where he just put his whole body into it. I swear they lucky that they ain't got Frank Castle in this game because I, I would have punched his teeth in. But it's cool. We got Black Cat again and She's somewhat doing her thing until we just keep getting choked out and it's just getting on my nerves. Like, like, like this dude's choke mechanics ridiculous. So I end up just using her special abilities, whipping off her uh, a combination of her grappling hook claw cable and just trying to just use that. And um, yeah, he just dude's vicious, man. Uppercutting this stuff. I'm like, man, I'm sick of you, Kingpin. You gotta go. Then we find out the whole time that it was Dr. Doom who was involved in all of this. So now we got to go find him and kick his butt because this is getting out of hand. So 
things I like to add once more and once again, the stages looks amazing. And like I said before, Sega did a good job using this type of comic book style, like the 1960s, 70s like look to it. And it worked beautifully. Like God, man, this game is amazing. And I know I keep saying it so many times, but it is the God given truth. So we end up fighting the lizard and uh, he gives us this, he gives us the business, of course. Then we switch back to Namar and then um, we start destroying areas and, you know, around this stage with this hydroelectric uh, blast again, which I think is an awesome move. Um, as we proceed further, we're finally at the uh, Castle of Doom. We finally get there. And I actually like, like I said again, I like how they designed this, man. It looks like the comics, like the art style looks amazing. So we do get through some of these areas. The enemies do get harder prior over time. They get trickier, they get faster. Uh, fun fact for people who wants to know, yes, they use um, same enemies, yes, what they do is they'll um, program different ones to either react faster and um, play a little bit more smarter in the, in the process. Which, you know, a lot of beat em up games do that all the time. So now we're fighting Green Goblin and we get him to business with uh, Submariner again. And then now we're going to fight him in his second phase, which I hate is when he throws all of these dangling um, pumpkin uh, grenades, which is ridiculous. So, it didn't go too well for, for uh, Submariner and Spider-Man to handle my business because this was getting out of hand. So we ended up getting him out of his flying mechanism and then we end up fighting him back on foot again because it's time for him to man up and throw these hands. Spider-Man is tired of catching you in the air. It's getting on his nerves. So now, it's time for us to get him the business. Mm -hmm. Ooh, do you see that combo? Ooh. <laughs> Spider-Man Spider was not Spider We need an instant replay of that combo, please. Ooh. Ooh. I love it. Oh, that was awesome. Spider-Man. Why would I ever neglect you? All right, so now we fighting Sandman again. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So I see. Yeah, at the end of the ropes, we got to fight all the enemies again. And then Sandman gets on my nerves because anytime you give him the beats, he want to crap out, go into his sand phase, dig into the sand like he's doing right now. When he getting his booty beat by our boy, truly, Spidey, Spidey Pete. So, yeah, man. So after we got done giving him the beats, giving him the combos, um, of course, you know, he gets his butt beat after, but then we switch back to Black Cat. And, uh, you know, we try to give her, you know, the, the goal of this is that we want to give everybody a chance. You feel me? We want to give everybody a chance. Black Cat sometimes, Hawkeye sometimes, Submariner sometimes, and then Spider-Man sometimes. You know, we wish, watch back and forth. You know, so we just keep the process going. You know, make it feel like that. They, they were all in this together. Until Dr. Doom came and started giving us the rushdown right away. I was like, yeah, I don't know if Black Cat gonna do this. But Doom don't play. Okay. And, 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 and thank God he didn't go all the way yet. Because right now he's just doing just his backhand karate chops. And tackling us crazy too. Like, jeez, man, get Doom, give it a rest. <laughs> jeez. Uh, super throw. Get out of here. Super throw. Want some more of this? Want some more of this? Apparently so. You want second service of the cat. Okay, let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Combo. Mm. Mm hmm. Down swing. Ooh, ooh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Combo. Let's go. Yeah. I had, I had to get Doom the business, man. He was loose. He was losing his mind. I said, hold on, bro. He will be coming with these tackles. Boop, 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 boop. Get out of here. Follow the light. The light is your guide. Boom. 
but then we find out that that wasn't Doom, that was just his body double. I was like, Doom, you slick slide dog. So now we're back in platform uh, movement again, and uh, we already know that Black Cat is so about to get defeated. And I'm gonna have to swamp back to another character. So I end up switching back to Hawkeye. Like I said, I like to give uh, variety to every hero in this game. So we did just that. And uh, you gotta watch out for these flames too. They do massive stagger damage. And I'm talking about it's just as worse as uh, Dr. Octopus. It is just as worse. Like his stagger is something, but them flames, they give it to you. So you gotta watch out for that, literally. So Hawkeye met his fate and we switched back to Spidey again to handle this problem. So now we're fighting in platform phase, Dr. Doom, and oh my God, he does dumb damage on that. Whatever contraption he's on, it is ridiculous. He does dumb damage on it, dumb damage. And it's like, it's hard to stick underneath him because it staggers too. It staggers so bad, you can't even move. How much it stuns you, you can't, you can't even do anything about it. So my goal was to just be aggressive on him and um, stick with him and stay on him. And then we were able to beat him in that form. And then we switched to Namar. And then Namar was getting the business by Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom was just like, oh, 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 you want that rematch? Oh, oh, you want that rematch? Oh, you gonna throw me in the air like that? Okay. Dr. Doom said, watch this. Doom, tackle. And then Amar said, oh, oh yeah? Throw you. Oh, the Doom said, oh yeah? Oh yeah? Throw. Mmm. Amar ain't playing game. Hold on, tackle. Doom said, tackle. Doom said, back this. Boom, punch. Boom, punch. <laughs> oh, snap. Man, Amar, you getting sized up real quick. Man, you better do something. <laughs> I didn't tell you to get up. Yo, Doom is my favorite neutral sub hero villain of all time. I swear to God. Oh, man, that was funny. He sized him up with the punch so smooth. He said, didn't I tell you? D didn't I tell you? But he couldn't do it with Spidey. He ain't had that much health left. But then after that, it got real. The Doom just followed Follow the, light the light again. Light he went in the Doom on me. And just gave me the business. Think I'm lying? Check this out. King Ghidorah, take me to your leader. Quick to claim that he not no snake like me neither. They need to take a breather. He been rhyming longer than Sigmund the Sea Creature Been on Saturday feature Pleased to meet ya And came to wake you up out the street Strong enough to join the powers of science For those of darkness Show me the puny mortal Who does not tremble At the name of Dr. Doom So call Rich front if you wanna When he's spitting that tricks Don't be in your saunas the only here to warn us what the plan is The hour is up on us, it's bananas Born alone, die alone, no matter who your man is Hope you live long enough to tell it to his grandkids King Kudra, three finger ring fever Spring chicken eater, ID'd as a ringleader Who needs a heater, catch him with bare hands These same hands that make razors out bear cans His own biggest fan And got a fan base as big as you can Yeah, and all hail the king Give him three cheers, fam. Like hit hit parade. Do his thing for the little kings like sling blade. Knows I only got one credit left. You're like, mm-hmm. You already know you got that one credit. So we was able to beat him for good. Until out the blue. Wait, that, that machine. We about to fight Venom. But not just one. You know how many we fight? Three Venom at once. And I'm going to tell you something, no joke, it was insane, I was like bro, this is it, Spider-Man Spider this is all on you bro, only you can do it, don't let Stan Lee down, you got this, it's all, it's all on you, <laughs> Spider-Man. 
So Spider-Man was throwing him. He was doing the best he could do. I was doing good with him. You know, throwing the combos I needed to. I spaced out all the Venoms the best way I could so they wouldn't stagger me and uh, gang up on me and, you know, one hit me from behind, one hit me from the front. So I just timed them around the area that we are in and I just, you know, hit them one by one, start throwing them one by one just to give me a lot of space. And with that being said, I did it. I did it. We got him. We uppercutted him. We got him. Venom was no more for now. And uh, Spider-Man and the rest, Black Cat, Hawkeye, and Submariner, they get to watch the Castle of Doom break like Dracula's castle in Castlevania, which I thought was funny. So we beat this game. This game was insanely fun. Insanely fun. One of the best games you guys could play. I highly recommend to pick it up. It's one of the best Sega beat em ups I've played so, so far as a Marvel game. Period. It is awesome. This game gets a solid 10 out of 10. The stages were amazing. The art style had like that comic Marvel feel to it, which was just the frosting on the cake. Dude, play it, pick it up. I recommend it. Dude, this game was awesome. And every four characters were unique. Both Spider-Man, Namar, Black Cat, Hawkeye. They were all amazing. Play it, enjoy it. But with that being said, that's the video. Hey, we are at the end of the video. You made it this far, that means you are awesome. Don't forget to click that like button. And most importantly, don't forget to arcade tap that subscribe button. You all have a great day.